I'm no teacher. I'm just a girl. I'm just like you. Don't follow me. Follow him. So tonight was worship night at my church, and uh, I love these things. We just go for like an hour and a half, and just worship song after worship song, and everybody who's there really wants to be there, and it's amazing. Like, you know how Sunday mornings in church, you know, some people are there because they want to be there, and some people are there because they always go, or because their parents bring them or because their spouse brings them and they don't really care either way. But this thing is on a Friday night and everybody who's there is just dying to be at the feet of Jesus, right? And so it's awesome. And <laughs> we do the first like four songs and I'm into it, right? And it's amazing. And we get to the opportunity for prayer that they stick in the middle of each you know, worship night, and the leader of our intercessory team at my church comes up, and she talks about how, you know, Monday night they were praying about, you know, what God wants to do on worship night. They were asking him, you know, what do you want Friday night? What do you want done? What do you have planned, right? And they had, they got a list of, like, 15 things that God specifically wanted to do, like things he wanted to heal people of and things he wanted to deliver people of. And I'm sitting back kind of watching, and it's this beautiful, amazing thing where Joyce is reading off her list, you know, there's a young man with a wrist injury and Jesus wants to heal you, and, you know, just inviting him to come up and talk to someone on the prayer team. They're all lined up um, at the front of the church, you know, just waiting to pray for people. It was this amazing time, right? Well, Second to the last, um, <laughs> second to the last thing on Joyce's list, she reads, and something inside me just crumples, right? And uh, it has to do with a situation that I don't talk about publicly um, out of respect for somebody. Um, <laughs> a lot of y'all figured it out anyway. <laughs> But, um, but I won't directly say it. Um, yeah, this, this struggle that I have. And the word Joyce gave was, you know, God is hearing your prayer and it will be answered. Just don't give up. And I'm like, she could be talking to anybody in this place. You know, it's so, it's a pretty common thing this struggle that I've got going on, right? And, But I go up anyway, because I'm just like, what if, you know, just in case, I'll go up and have someone pray for me. And this um, wonderful gentleman prayed with me, and I go back to my seat, and I'm just down, because I can't bring myself to believe that God really said that to me. So I sit there, and you know the worship team goes on, and everyone's having a great time, and I'm sitting there, kind of, with my head down, just like like I'm thinking or praying or whatnot, and nobody bothers me because these worship nights, like, if you reach out for help, anybody, everybody will help you, but if you're you've got your own thing going on, people will leave you alone because it's just like me and Jesus time, right? And so I'm sitting there, and we go through one song, and we go through another song, and I'm just <sighs> discouraged. Like, I wished it hadn't happened at all. You know, whether it was true or not, I couldn't couldn't make myself believe it, because I don't want to hope and then get disappointed again. Because it's something I've been praying for, for, it feels like forever, and I just, honestly, I want to give up. That's the honest truth. But Jesus and certain people won't let me give up. And so I'm sitting there. And I'm sitting there and I'm thinking. And Jesus starts talking to me. 
and he was reminding me of when he calmed the storm, right? Because in the Bible, it reads pretty quickly. You know, the disciples and Jesus are out there in the boat. The storm happens. They wake up Jesus. The storm ends. Easy. So easy. Well, in reality, it probably didn't happen that fast. You know, the storm had to build. You know, maybe at first they thought it wasn't too big a deal. You know, they didn't have to wake up Jesus for this little storm. They could just tough it out, right? I mean, they were... They were professional sailors, fishermen. I mean, they'd seen storms before. You know, maybe it started kind of light. You know, they can handle this, right? But then the winds pick up, and then the waves pick up. And they're like, "Do we wake them up? Do we not wake them up? We're gonna die. We're gonna wake them up." And so they're finally in a panicked frenzy, and they actually have the nerve to tell them, "We're sinking. Don't you care that we're gonna die?" <laughs> and Jesus is poking me like, "That's been your attitude." And you know when a friend, a close friend, will put their hands on your shoulders and just kind of shake you and look you in the eye to say, listen up, this is important, I'm being serious now, okay? That's what Jesus did to me. He kind of shook me. He said, you have little faith. <laughs> really? It's like, I've come so far, but I haven't. I've still got faith like this, guys. It's so small. Because the storm's going on, and I'm freaking out, and I think Jesus is asleep. I'll tell you what. He was asleep in the physical. In the spiritual, he knew what was going on. <laughs> the spirit doesn't sleep. So I finally got to a place where I could accept that. Like, maybe I'm in a boat, and maybe there's a storm going on, and maybe I feel like I'm going to die, and maybe I feel like Jesus is asleep. But in reality, he's working. He's preparing. And I've got to have the faith that even though it feels like he's not doing anything. He is. And then we moved on to another song, which just... Oh, man. I'll, uh, I'll find it. It's got to be somewhere on YouTube, so I'll find a link and I'll post it at the end here. Um, but it's kind of like... I don't know. It was my victory song tonight. Jesus is so good. Because I was... <sighs> I was kind of swimming in doubt and disbelief and just this ugly lack of faith. Like, oh, my faith is so small, you guys. So small. I'm sitting here in amazement that he can use me at all. <laughs> but he does. And he can, and he has, and he will. So, that's what I wanted to bring you. Um, because I know I'm not the only one going through a storm. You know, we all need more faith. We gotta ask for it. This, he is the source. So I love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.